What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are gonna talk about getting comfortable riding in the trees. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So last week, a lot of success with the how to use or when to use the brake video. And a lot of the comments were, you guys were stoked with the play-by-play -play using the GoPro and talking my way through it as I was riding. So today, we are gonna go over how to get comfortable riding in the trees using nearly every fundamental that we have gone over in the last couple seasons, when to use the brake, when to build momentum, when to be neutral or opposite foot forward, looking ahead and remembering to breathe. So you guys follow along and I take you on a trip through the trees. Okay, so when you're tree riding, it's important to just kind of scope out what it is that you want to do. So I've made a loop around, I've kind of looked at a possible hallway, and when it's kind of sunlight into the shade, a lot of times since we are no longer looking at the things that can stop us, we're actually looking at all those hallways in between, it's important to just scope out a line, like have some sort of direction. So I've got a spot where I know I'm gonna blast up onto here. You guys will remember the video going up, a lot of, lot of momentum, neutral position, get myself set up into that side hill position, then I can stop. Once I'm there, I'm gonna start looking at which direction I can go. And honestly, whether you, when you're riding through trees, you know, you're going, you're having a decision of going up or down through the trees. Here we go. So here we go, a lot of momentum. Get myself set up. Here I go. using momentum when I need it. Now I'm positioned, I'm horizontal to the hill. I've taken all the steepness out of it. I can rest, I can plan a new line and go again. Remember, I'm gonna get a good push off as I leave, push off and go again. Coming down into here. Last week we talked about when to use the brakes. I'm coming downhill. I don't wanna come into this with a bunch of momentum just yet get down into it, and then here I go, back on the throttle, up here. Yeah. Setting up again. Finding those holes. Finding all those little hallways. Got a log right there. Sloughing off of there, keeping keeping that side hill position. Remember, I'm heavily counter steered, using that brake to control my speed. Here we go again. So look at this, I'm gonna need to build momentum. I've got some down logs right in front of me. Wanna build momentum early. Stay back on the sled, nice and light on the front end. <laughs> that was way more of a log than I thought. All good. We're gonna see if we can get lucky and pinch through here. Coming down easy. Got one move to make. Yeah. Oh, I love riding trees. All right, so something I don't talk about enough is having momentum, going into any tree line, going up on a hill. Remember, always have momentum, build that momentum early, and then we'll use that brake to control our speed. So I've got a log coming up. 
this log is going to take momentum for me to get up and over so that I don't get stuck on it. So I'm going to build momentum, get over it, then set my sled into a side hill and away we go. Yeah, look at that thing. Just like that, built momentum, hit it early, was back on the sled, kept the skis and everything nice and light, jumped up over it, wasn't going a thousand miles an hour, but got enough momentum to get up and over the top, set my sled horizontal to the hill, and away I go. Again, push off, and here we go. Tree riding doesn't always have to mean the steep and deep. It doesn't always have to mean how steep or how technical I want to make it. While you're learning, you can just dance in between. You can just find areas that you know you can make. Keep looking ahead. You're taking that laser pointer and you're just mapping out your line. I'm going up and down and through. And then finding those spots where I can get horizontal to the hill, get the sled in a spot where I'm not stuck. Remember that I can overcommit. I can pull that sled to the uphill side because heck, I've got a, a hillside right next to me. I can stop, I can adjust my goggles, I can breathe, I can get water. I'm not stuck, I can put that sled back to flat. Good push off and here I go again. Tree riding. I think so many people get way too intimidated because all they see is all, the, all these other riders that are trying to make tree riding as steep and as gnarly and as technical as they can be. And it doesn't always have to be that, especially when you're learning. Find the line. Like, look at this spot. Like, like basically bottlenecked, right? I'm looking at an up line. I've got a straight through there line or I've got a down line. I'm gonna take the up line because I've got momentum to do it. But if I had to in deeper snow, you've always got a bottom. So plan A, B, and C. Plan A is where we're going. Foot in the back part on the running board, lots of momentum, big push off, lots of power, and we're up over into plan A. Yeah. Okay, coming across the hill, looking at my line. What do we see? Whoa! GoPro! <laughs> GoPro kind of got tweaked. And it happens. All right, I got a down log right in front of me. And I can tell it's really thin. So instead of chunking through there, hurting the track, I'm just going to choose to go down. Because I can. Down here, I'm on my brakes. You guys will see my finger on the brake. I'm gonna set the sled. Setting the sled, keeping that foot that is on the snow in front. I'm not letting that thing trail behind. Yeah. Cool little opening. before. I got a nice rise right there. I want my foot towards the rear of the running board. I'm going to be heavily counter steered. The foot that is against the snow, that's the pendulum. I plant that foot and I hop around it. <laughs> I mean, when it works out, it works out. 
Look at that loop. I'm telling you guys, keep doing it, keep pushing, keep telling yourself you can do it. God, I love this sport. <laughs> That was friggin' awesome. Oh man, hopefully you guys are stoked. I know I am stoked. Riding through the trees, getting comfortable riding in the trees. I don't know if there's any more fun to be had on a snowmobile. Using all of the techniques, all the fundamentals over the last couple seasons that I've been trying to just instill into all of you guys. Hopefully you love this video. Remember you guys, subscribe to our channel. We are kicking butt for everybody out there. We appreciate that. You guys leave those comments, smash that like button for us, and we'll see you next time.